Hi, and welcome back to thomashenson.com. Have you ever been working in your big data environment and thought, where can I find more data to test? It'd be great if I could have more data so that I could test out this new open source tool or just maybe this new function that you want to run. Well, today I'm going to talk about my four favorite places to find big data. Number four on the list is Yahoo. Actually, the Yahoo Finance section, you can actually go in here and look up your favorite stock or even your favorite mutual fund and find historic information. And so what I like to do is I like to come in here and get historic information that will give you daily values on the stock. You can take that data and insert it into HDFS or a database or however you want. There's a lot of different options, and this data actually exports to CSV. It's really accurate data, but it is limited in the set because you're only looking at stock values. But if you need a quick fix to get some data, this is where I come to first. Coming in at number three is actually some weather data from NOAA. This data is very accurate, but one of the drawbacks to getting the data and the reason it's only number three on the list, you have to actually open an account and request, hey, in this geographic information, I would like to compile the weather data from here. And so if you're looking for accurate data, this is a very good site that I would use. But if you're looking for something quick, this is not going to be something that you want to use. Typically, you'll receive the data in less than 24 hours, but just know that it could be a lot longer. And that's why weather data is number three on my list. Coming in at number two, and a really close favorite to number one, is Tableau's public website and their sample data sets. Now, this is relatively new to me but they have a lot of different information sets and a lot of different categories. So like government, lifestyle, health, and then one of my favorites that's sports. The formats come back in Excel or CSV format, so it's really easy. Another cool thing is you don't have to log in. So you can just come in, download these data sets, upload them into HDFS, and start playing away. And so that's why this is number two on my list, Tableau's public data sets. And now for number one on my list of four favorite places to find data, is Kegel's website. And Kegel started off on the scene as just a contest site for data scientists or amateur data scientists to be able to test out and solve problems. One of the famous examples was Netflix. There was a contest out there to see if you could beat Netflix data scientist in how to recommend better videos for people. And so it was really cool. I think they gave out like a million dollars for the contest. But now this website is more than just a contest site. It actually has data sets and it's really a one-stop shop for data scientists. So it's one of those websites you want to come in and you want to check. For me, I really like the data set site. Now you do have to log in to be able to access the data, but you have vast amounts of data sets. And if I were stuck on an island and I could only have one of these, it would be the Kegel website because they're always updating. They have a lot of different data sets. They have some that are small and some that are large. And so you can see here, you can go through and search and you can see the latest data that's been updated. You can search by different features. And like I said, it's community driven. So there's always new data sets available. This is why it's number one on my list. And so just to recap, remember, four top favorite places. Number four was Yahoo's finance section. Number three was the weather data at NOAA. Number two and a close favorite was Tableau's public website where they have the sample data sets. And then number one, the best place was Kegel's data sets. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to check out thomashenson.com for more big data tips.